Mugwump was a wizard ruler before uh, Merlin came to the land of the Isle of Angles, the United Kingdom, the Lost Lands, the Enchanted Isles, etc. Um, the reason what uh, why what happened is Mugwump went into hiding when Merlin defeated a uh, <clears throat> dragon riding wizard of renown way back in the day and conquered most of the land of northern England. So then, supposedly, Mugwumps vanished, but he uh, leaves behind his uh, London Bridge with his uh, keep that legendarily has his prized magical possessions within them. And so Dumbledore, he thinks he knows a way to get into it because being crowned Mugwump would simply mean, because no one has been, that you're just gotten access to his old possessions in the... <laughs> so what happens when... um When you have uh, Merlin show back up into the future... He quickly realizes as he gets near to London Bridge that all the sources of the curse that came down upon the whole land is because of Mugwump. And um, it's pretty obvious because when he gets near to the tower, uh, as he's destroying everything, as all the muggles are um, enchanted with black death within them that's making them act irrationally and automatically do magical things like they're programmed to be soldiers and such that just it's horrific you know it's like um like the entire island is ensorcelled by enemies so um when they get near to the tower then the two um tower points you know sizzle and crackle and energy jumps between them and mugwump himself emerges you know uh, dude with like, um, like he's got like a swirl of hair missing up like through his head. Like have somebody like sh buzz it. So it's like he's got obvious swirl. So he's like as though his death magic is what's ruining the island actually. Um, so what happens here is, um, what happens is all these magical item, um, items, uh, a creatures that are coming back to life with the power of Merlin's, you know, pre-curse energy, like the whole, it's like a giant time turner to the future, and that's why time turners into the past are so easy to do for certain people, because everything's, you know, magically stretched, as everything already broke, and magical, um balanced energies were shattered you know way back at the point where all this went wrong so um harry and hermione force um ron to drink from the uh magical well at her house that's connected to south america because what it allows them to do is they summon energy through the uh, planet uh, conduit ley lines under the ocean. And it's like the internet, but for magic, you know? The, like, so anything can be transported technically, any material, if you have enough energy. So, um, they... The point is, he, you know, you get him before he's really in shape. Because I know he's going to get in shape like a lot of other people here in another year or two. He'll be getting pretty buff. So... He just, you'd get a shot of him before he drinks the water. And then it's like the transformation where he gets all, you know, shredded, you know, and goes into heavy metal, uh, high fantasy wizard mode as he, you know, doesn't want to do it and whines a lot first. As she says, no, but you have like a pure bloodline. Like, it won't hurt that much. As then, like, he's like forced to like, you know, get all shiny and uh, supercharged. Then they go into London and they're opening portals that swallow the uh, small dragons and other animals down to South America because that's a better solution because 
Africa's moved on and the voodoo curse that it isn't animals don't they just need to break the curse break the animals connection to all of it so that's their job along with um the main actor in care of magical creatures uh whatever his name is so that's uh pretty action-packed from their end as well after they help summon merlin um as one of the groups at the three different castles where, you know, all the energy's reforming and it zaps together to form him. Is it in 1080-30? Yeah, it's playing. Okay, so, a quick recap of what we just said on the live stream, because it didn't work. We have a Middle Eastern terrorist man, played by the guy who plays Kingo in Eternals. Yep. I don't care what his name is. He's gonna come out of Azkaban, which is, once again, not a place where you're in prison. It's a burial mound for wizards and their toxic energy so that it doesn't escape. Then they escape anyways because the bonds <laughs> of magic break loose and then there are ghosts coming out of like, you know, a stone sarcophagus in the ocean. Yeah. So he comes out and he's like, uh, I was just going to do the fight scene. I guess I didn't really have a connection to how he specifically got there with a the lead up scene. I was just doing the fight yeah, scene. Yeah, I'll come up with that. So he has henna tattoos all over his body, and he reveals them when he pulls off his stupid, you know, stupid, sexy black shirt. And they're, uh, you know, like different creatures, bats, crows, spiders, snakes, bears, uh, like, like one bear, uh, you know, uh, like a stag, an elk of some sort, uh, and a wolf. So, like several of them. Oh, when it's the stag part, he should probably turn into his Patronus animal and fight stag to stag. Yeah. So, my point is that um, what he does is he sort of raises his hands in this way. Let's see if I can do it again. He sort of raises up and sort of relaxes sinuously. Like, as like tendrils of black, like, like sort of muscle strand go to the Dementors around him that he's controlling because he's like a dark wizard and like bond them down like you know from what like a wraith down into like the shape of like a wolf almost with like a like hero's like sort of you know like a Frodo cape but it's like all black and ripped you know what I mean like you know yeah like I just mean the concept is like a very covering cape well like then he can suck in bonus ones to like wrap around and make it more like powerful yeah, so my point is, like, a, a wolf forms a uh, bear and a uh, stag and, like, another wolf. And so there they run at him, and uh, Daniel Radcliffe's all, like, you know, cracks his neck, like, really painfully all the way around in a big old circle, you know what I mean? And then pops his knuckles all loudly, comedically, and his hands start, you know, glowing with his purple energy. As he gets his fisty cuffs ready, you know, and she, she shrugs him out. And then he runs at the, the first uh, wolf that's coming at him. And he jumps all overly dramatically. So it's all like, oh, and he punches it in the face, you know. But he carries through it. So as it flies and slams into a big old oak tree in the park, you know, by like a bridge or something. I don't know what England has. <coughs> uh, the, the wolf, like, you know, like explodes into like, you know, like, like tether gas pieces, you know, yeah. he hits the tree, but he doesn't stop because he punched it, you know what I mean, because he's got so much magical, like, spin force to the way he was punching, so he all, he all jumps up and punches it, and then lands and spins and keeps going, so, you know, he's all, like, in one motion, it's all, like, bam, and then he's, like, like, yeah, but you get it, like, on the wet grass, like, there's, like, a slope slightly downward, yeah, so he's, like, you know, like, sending stuff a tiniest bit up a slope at him, so it's really easy to do the stunts I'm saying, yeah. And then, um, he keeps sprinting towards the next wolf, which is, like, you know, low to the ground and, like, you know, sprinting at him, trying to go for his, like, dick or something. So then he, you know, he sees it coming, you know, well, you know, because it's the next one off to the other side. So he runs and he, he sweeps his leg down and around. I did it better than the other, the other carpet's better. Yeah, it looked better. Like, this is know, a shitty carpet. Sweeps around, you know, like takes his legs out and back into running. Yeah. And, uh, 
you know, it like collapses to the ground and it's all busted up. And then he runs up to the final one, which is the bear. And the, the bear like tries to like rear up and slam down on him as it sprints at him, you know. And then he runs up and uh, dodges like the, the bear's claws as they come down at him, you know what I mean? And slides underneath its legs like up from behind, you know what I mean? And then jumps on the back of the bear, grabs it by the neck, and then twists around and kicks off of it from the front as it like reaches up to claw him, you know what I mean? Like in a backflip and lands in, in front of the bear and then he like beats the shit out of it with a 20 hit combo as it doesn't know where he went. You know what I mean? He moves so fast and he beat it up so good. And it's like, pua, pua, pua. And it blocks the bear's paws as they try to swing, you know, with like magical shielding coming off of his hands. And then he's all like, pua. And he, you know, he, he charges up and he punches it super hard in the gut and it like falls to the ground defeated or whatever as it like it starts to turn to smoke. And then he goes, pua, pua, and like, you know, kicks it over, you know. Yeah, definitely. To the side as he, you know, then jumps over it and sprints it, the guy. Well, then the guy's got to, like, thrust his hands out in front of him and, like, launch, like, the shape of a stag from his, like, hands from the camera's perspective. You yeah. know, like, the fingers are the stag horns, and then the tattoos along his hands back into his chest, like, form the shape of a stag that, like, rips from him out of dark smoke, that, like, sucks all the Dementors in, like, his cone either direction, like, sucks into it as it, like, picks up speed and, then like, momentum and charge of dark e death magic. So then, like, uh, Harry Potter's charging down the slope, right? So then, like, he uh, patronums out, but, like, it, like, spreads across his body. And then it's like he's within a giant stag that's, like, charging, you know, as he's, like, becomes the animal that he's always, you know, fucking in the forest or whatever. And then uh, they, like, clash horns, and it's, like, a stupid faggy stag battle, Except it's, like, explosions of, like, mist in all directions. As, like, he tears the uh, scraps of the Dementors slowly to pieces in the whole area. Yeah, you know, but, like, my point is, the, the, he, like, the, the other stag, he stag, like, you know, twists and rips and, like, the other, you know, explodes into cloth on its horns that's, like, dark, you know, yeah. black light, like, you know, like, black light raining down on everything. As it's all, like, Wah! and then he, like falls to the ground out of it right into like, you know, trying to attack him immediately, you know, with the, the last of his stuff on him. And then, you know, the, the smaller your tattoos, like you were saying. Yeah. Right after beating him. Like, it's like non-stop, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, cascades down, like landing, like trying to get into his face. And he like sprays tons of bats as he like backs yeah. up, you know, as Harry Potter whips up the water yeah. he has. And he's like... <laughs> yeah, blowing up the bats and crows and stuff. Yeah. yeah. And then there's, like, snakes that are crawling up his legs as he's, like, you know, like, you know, like, pooping them off of his legs, you know. Yeah. Um, well, of course, it's from the tattered remains of the Dementors that he's, again, summoning the energy with the tattoos out from himself. Yeah. What's... So then as he gets through those, uh, you know... He, uh, like, he finishes with them, and his fire is his wand, you know, the, the guy again, he's like, <laughs> and then, you know, he, uh, knocks one of them out of his hands, you know, because he, like, you know, punches at him from the side, and it, like, hits him in the wrist and knocks it out of his hand. Well, you said before the guy was, like, blocking with some sort of dark magic when he's shooting his wands at him. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's got shielding, he's burning off the last bit yeah. of his tattoo, he's shielding himself as he comes in, as he burned through everything. <laughs> yeah. And then, he, when he comes into shield range as he steps through, then he immediately smacks one of the wands out of his hand. And they start grappling, right? Yeah. So it's like that one flies out of his hand and then he like puts the other one away because he doesn't even give a shit. Like, cause he like immediately was grabbed by that hand, like all in one motion, like hyper fast. So then his other hands out cause it's not useful because they're, he's got like magic energy he's using, you know? So yeah. They, like, beat the shit out of each other. So then it's like, he like grabs him by the hand and then he punches him in the face with the other one as he, you know, like tries to block it, the uh, Indian guy, but it like, glances off and still hits him in the head. So it, like breaks free his grasp. And then he's all like, you know, tries to punch it, well, but the blows are skating off of each other with magic sparks of different colors as they're like sliding it. Yeah. He punches Daniel Radcliffe and it sparks off of his sick abs. You know what I mean? 
Well, yeah, because it's like the shielding from Dune, but totally different. So as they're punching each other in the upper body overly dramatically, the point is it rips their clothes off because they're not magic. Yeah. So then he, as he punches, you know, like Daniel Radcliffe's already gotten his clothes ripped off from all the stupid Dementors attacking him somewhat. So then his abs are visible because his shirt's all ripped open. Well, he, he dude, he, he had to admit all the way back in like whatever it was 2005 he liked so much what we're talking about here even though it's the future that like he like did that whole play because he's like no the point is he's like naked because he like you know turns into a stag you know he becomes the patronus you yeah, know the other guy's already lost uh, you know he doesn't have a shirt on because he's summoning all the shit from yeah him. exactly so then he's you know it's like they're fighting each other all stupid super like Nude manly mode nearly. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so they're skating blows off of each other. What did I say happened next? Um, something about he gets knocked down and then he does a spin move. Oh, yeah. Then he connects through, you know, like the, the angle of hitting him right, Daniel, to the side of Daniel Radcliffe's, like, ribs. And it knocks him sideways, so he, like, flies, you know, away onto the grass like he's all, like, you know... You know, like like that, and then you know he he pushes with his hand. Yeah. So it's like the guy's gonna come at him to to kick him right, and you know he's just coming up to kick him. It's not realistic. It's supposed to be funny. So it's like he's lined up with his knee too good. So he he pushes, and yeah, of course this is on wires. And then he like spins, you know what I mean? And like knees him in the groin as he spins up from the ground from pushing. You know, yeah. So he's like, you know. Well, he went. You, I think he went the other way before. Oh, uh, the other way. Yeah, like you push and spin the other way from the push. Oh yeah, you're right. So he doesn't see it coming. Yeah, before. that's how you did it before. Yeah. So then you know he. Could, yeah, exactly. Drives him to his knees, you know, as he's all like, knocked back, you know. Oh. oh, yeah. And then, you know, he he gets up, you know, in time for Daniel Radcliffe to attack him. So then Daniel Radcliffe has the opportunity because he cheap shot at his nuts to then, you know, do the whole stupid, you know, where he does the double leg kick at his, his hands and then he slides away, you know, all stupid. Yeah, yeah. That's what you said, yeah. yeah. Like it's a fighting game. Yeah, I can't remember the last part oh, now. I remember what happened. Then he, uh, because he slides away and he's super beaten up, He, as he stands up, Daniel Radcliffe, because he's kind of woozy, he's within range, you know what I mean? He can't do anything because he's not ready yet. Because he already got hit in the groin super hard and, you know, kicked away with both feet. Then he runs and... Uh, Grabs one of his arms, I remember saying. Yeah, because he's only halfway to his feet. And it jumps all the way over his body. But he summons his broomstick, you know. So it goes under his yeah. feet as he jumps. So it's like he uses it as an assist to go over his body on the broomstick. Like, yeah. All the way around with both of his feet on the broom. And then body slams him into the ground, you know. And like, you know, dirt sprays everywhere because he hits, it hits into it so hard. It's really dramatic, you know. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think that was about it. Yeah. I guess I'll stop.